holding this really close so that you can see these characters up in the corner here. These two characters are characters from stories that I've read to my class. This is Elephant, otherwise known as Gerald, excuse me, and this is Piggy, which is a pig. And they are really good friends, and they are going to read us a story. This story is called The Cookie Fiasco, and The Cookie Fiasco is a story that will be read by these characters. This is written by Dan Santat. All right, and we, I think, are going to love this story. First of all, it's about cookies, right? Can't not love cookies. Looks yeah. like these animals love cookies. It's about some animal friends. Wonderful. And then also we're going to learn a new word called fiasco. Say that word with me. Fiasco. A fiasco is a big problem, and it's kind of a crazy problem. A fiasco is going to be in this book, and it's actually going to be about cookies. So let's figure out what this crazy problem about cookies will be. All right. Start with our friends, Elephant and Piggy. I want to read this funny book. Me too. See, you can see who's talking because of the color of the speech bubbles. But how can the two of us read this one book? We can read it together. Get it? That's one great idea. The cookie fiasco. See? They're going to read it together. Hey, guys! Cookie time! Oh, there's his friends underneath my fingers. Uh-oh. Hold on. There are three cookies, but four of us. Someone will not get a cookie. Ah! Snip, snip, snip. That's not fair. We need equal cookies for all. I have an idea. Maybe you two can share one cookie. What? We do not share cookies. We do not share a lot of things. I am wearing her socks. <laughs> I heard crocodiles do not like cookies. Maybe you should not get a cookie. Mm huh? I eat cookies. I love cookies. I could eat a whole plate right now. Or we can share by our size. That's a great idea. Wait, wait. You are huge. You would get all the cookies. Oh, really? Tee hee. Snap. <gasps> Did you hear something? <gasps> Hippo, what are you doing? <laughs> I break things when I am nervous. Snap. Stop that! Sorry. You are making things worse. Show us the cookies. One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> six cookies is not equal to four friends. Now there are six cookie pieces, but only four of us. This is not good. This is not fair. This is not equal. My nerves snap. Rumble. Does your tummy ever make that noise when you're hungry? Mine does. We have to solve this problem fast. Our friendship depends on it. We need equal cookies for all. Man, that squirrel likes to yell. Oh, no. Snap. Rumble. Keep snapping the cookies. Ah! Stop! The pieces are getting smaller. They will be crumbs soon. We will have to eat cookie crumbs. This is a flop, a mess, a disaster. It is a... Say the word. Fiasco! A mess. A disaster. Are you finding this to be a little crazy too? Snap, snap, snap. 
Ah! Oh, sorry, I cannot stop. It is what he does. He broke all the pieces again. Why is he still holding the cookies? I am too afraid to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now there are twelve cookie pieces, but still only four of us. Get these cookies away from me, please. Oh boy. Guys, take one at a time. I have three pieces. Me too. Me too. One, two, three. We did it. Equal cookies for all. Lots of munching. Munch, 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 munch. Hey guys, milk time. I have three glasses. Uh-oh. Well, that was a fun book. But now I am hungry for a cookie. Now I am thirsty for milk. This book makes me hungry and thirsty. Good books make me feel big things. And that's the end of our story, the cookie fiasco. Go ahead and read it again with me if you would like to. And remember to use that big word, fiasco.